Hey guys, here with some devastating news. Yoshitaka Murayama, the creator of Suikoden, AUN Chronicle, uh, has passed away. He died on February 6, a few days ago, and um, they decided to announce it until today. Apparently he died of uh, multiple organ failure from an illness he had been battling uh, for years apparently but he died very young 55 years old only 55 years old and on one hand to be able to achieve such a huge important legacy at that age uh, it's admirable to say the least but on the other hand it's a tragedy to see someone so talented and so beloved and respected die at such a young age um, he is the creator of my all-time favorite video game series, Suikoden. Uh, he worked on the first three games. And um, before he left uh, Konami, right at the end of the development of Suikoden 3, he left Konami to pursue a solo career. Uh, he worked on some other games and eventually he wouldn't reappear until almost 15 years later as the... Uh, well, pretty much the writer, the, the story writer, the scenario writer in the Alliance Alive. And then he, we all know, he decided to create a Kickstarter with Junko Kawano, also one of the Suikoden legends. Uh, created a studio called Rabbit and Bear Studios to develop a Union Chronicle. It's very sad that he passed away right before his... Uh, Spiritual Successor was about to be released. A Union Chronicle will be released in uh, on April this very same year. Uh, and well, two months before the game is released, he passed away. At least he had enough time to complete it. And well, he left us with a huge legacy, with uh, some amazing games and I know for a fact that a lot of people, some of you included, and also a lot of in, people in the industry, in the video game industry worldwide, consider this guy as one of the best uh, JRPG developers ever. And uh, his legacy will pass on and he will always be remembered. Funeral was held by family and friends. And I think they didn't announce his death until today because out of respect to have a uh, at least a week of mourning without, I mean, because he's a public figure, was a public figure, and um, uh, out of respect, they decided to announce it a week later, and now, well, now you know, and um, even if you weren't a fan of the games, uh, hope you can remember what he did, uh, the impact he made on the video game industry, and um, well, let's just hope uh, his legacy continues and a Yuden Chronicle succeeds. Long live Yoshitaka Murayama, one of my, pretty much one of my five favorite video game developers and video game personalities out there. Died, dying at such a young age. Uh, it's, it's just um, devastating to say the least. That's it guys, rest in peace Yoshitaka Murayama. Thanks for watching.